Hi everyone, today is Good Friday, it's Friday the 14th of April 2017. Now, Good Friday is obviously when Jesus was crucified. Now, is it significant that the Only Fools and All Horses episode, Friday the 14th, features an axe murderer? Because they basically murdered Jesus, didn't they, when they crucified him? Like, the Romans did. So, um, they've just come out of this new Star Wars The Last Jedi teaser trailer. And something that Luke says in it is very, very symbolic, I find. It's time for the Jedi to end. Does that represent that it's time for the Christians to end in real life? <clears throat> if it does, then that must mean that the, that the end times of the Bible are approaching. That must mean that we, that we will have to go to heaven soon. And then, of course, the red text there for Satan. So, I mean, it could even represent the, the red of Jesus' blood, red wine, the vesture of red that Jesus wears at the end times. Um, can you even see, like, the Illuminati pyramid in, in the letter A's there? Um, now, the Grok Swan has recently done videos about this Moab bomb thing. Like, um... Basically, the bomb that Donald Trump has dropped on Afghanistan. Or he's apparently dropped it on an ISIS cave or something. Um, but, yeah. I mean, he says... So, the, the bomb is called Moab. And Moab is in the Bible. See the abomination of Moab right there. God have mercy on us all. Jesus is like the king of the Christians. Well, he's not just like the king of the Christians. He is the king of the Christians. Just like Satan's the king of the Illuminati. And Luke Skywalker is basically the king of the Jedi. Satan is known as the Prince of Liars. Jesus is known as the Prince of Peace. So you see how both Satan and Jesus, they're both known as kings and they're both known as princes. I mean, this whole kings thing, um, it goes back to King Kong and this character, Anne Darrow. She represents the heavenly woman of Revelation 12. She's got blonde hair and she's wearing white for heaven. <clears throat> now, Marilyn Monroe, she also represents the heavenly woman of, woman of Revelation 12. That's why she's also got blonde hair and she also wears white for heaven. Just like in this film, The Seven Year Itch. Didn't you just love the picture? I did. But I just felt so sorry for the creature. At the end. Sorry for the creature? What you want him to marry the girl? He was kind of scary looking. But he wasn't really all bad. I think he just craved a little affection. You know, a sense of being loved and needed. Wanted. That's a very interesting point of view. <laughs> oh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? Sort of cools the ankles, doesn't it? Well, what do you think would be fun to do now? I don't know. It's getting pretty late. It's not that late. 
The thing is, I have this big day tomorrow. I really have to get to sleep. So, the film that she was describing there, it sound, sounded very similar to the plot of King Kong, because it's just all showing this symbolism all of the time. See how, at, like, the character that Marilyn is playing in this film is like the Anne's Arrow type character. Like, <clears throat> I mean, this guy, he could represent Jesus or King Kong, I'm not entirely sure. Um, well, it depends whether you think King Kong represents Jesus or whether you think King Kong represents Satan. I mean, to be honest, isn't it more likely that, that Carl Denham, the Jack Black character, is actually the Satan character? Because his last name is literally Black. Like, like Black for the darkness. Black for the time of darkness coming. And then, like, um, of course it goes back to Batman. He's all about blackness, isn't he? That's why he's called the Dark Knight. <clears throat> then remember that Batman represents Satan and Superman represents Jesus. But anyway, let's just play a bit of this clip from Star Wars The Old Republic. Kneel before the Dragon of the cool. Um... Valkorion represents Satan, and that's why his name is with is with the letter V for the fifth age, and the fifth angel, otherwise known as Satan. <clears throat> so, Valin, she represents the woman of wickedness in the Bible. <clears throat> and, um, well, otherwise known as the woman in the basket. That's why her name has a has a V in it as well. Like, <clears throat> even goes back to Star Wars Episode 5. Um, remember, uh, with the Star Wars episodes, like, they have uh, Roman numerals, don't they? And again, that goes back to, like, Jesus uh, being crucified by the Romans. So, <clears throat> Valen's conditioning... It's just like Winter Soldier's conditioning. Winter Soldier is a character from Marvel. But it's like... Certain characters... Say certain words to them. And then their conditioning is activated. Like... With, with Winter Soldier, saying certain words to him turns him evil and turns, turns him into a killer. Whereas with Valen's condition, in it, condition in it, it's almost the reverse because it's, it stops her, her, her uh, conditioning stops her from killing people. It stops her in her tracks. So, um, oops, sorry, not that. Um, basically, you see see that explosion there that represents nukes, and even uh the fire in hell. Even here, it says Satanic Illuminati Super Soldier Captain America. And MK Ultra, transhumanist Winter Soldier. 
I mean, remember, Captain America represents Jesus, Iron Man represents Satan. <clears throat> but Winter Soldier is like Judas. Because he pretends, like Judas, he pretends it to, to be Jesus' friend. Then he betrayed him. I mean, remember, in World War II, Bucky, the Winter Soldier, was Captain America's friend. Uh, but uh, in the present day, at first, he was Cap's enemy. But now, in the Civil War film, he's become his friend again. Does that mean in a future Marvel film, Winter Soldier will betray Captain America? Who knows? We, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, like, <clears throat> satanic forces control Valen and Winter Soldier. Satanic forces manipulate Valen and Winter Soldier. Satanic forces condition Valen and Winter Soldier. Hydra are the satanic force that, 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 that controls Winter Soldier. Yeah, Hydra are the satan Hydra are the satanic force that control the Winter Soldier. Valkorion is the satanic force that controls Valen. There are positive sides and negative sides to Valen's conditioning. The positive sides include her not being able to kill anyone uh, whilst her conditioning is activated. The negative sides include um, well, being under Valkorion's control and, um, well, maybe if it wasn't for the conditioning, maybe Valen would never have turned evil. Or she wouldn't have become as evil. <clears throat> If it wasn't for uh, Winter Soldier's conditioning by Hydra, um, he probably would have never have become evil. Are we supposed to believe that he was under Hydra's control throughout the whole of the Winter Soldier film? Well, the likelihood is that that is the case, because how it, because the Winter Soldier film was all about uh, how Hydra had infiltrated Shield. Iron Man even refers to Winter Soldier as a Manchurian candidate. Which is basically an assassin. And that links to JFK's assassination. 
JFK has a lot to, had a lot to do with Marilyn Monroe. 